Hello and welcome to Global Market Bulletin TV. In today's feature executive interview, we'd like to welcome our guests, Dr. Mark Sawicki, Chief Scientific Officer for Cryoport, and Thomas Heinzen, Vice President of Corporate Development for what is described as the most trusted provider of temperature-controlled supply chain solutions. Your company is traded under the NASDAQ symbol CYRX. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us. Um, first of all, uh, Dr. Sawicki, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about Cryoport? Sure. As you had mentioned, Layla, you know, Mark Sawicki, I am the CSO of Cryoport Inc. and the CEO of Cryoport Systems, which is a subsidiary of Cryoport Inc. Um, you know, I've been with the company for a little over eight years at this point in time. You know, Cryoport is an organization, as you had mentioned, you know, we're focused around the mar a market leadership position in supply chain solutions uh, for the biopharmaceutical industry with a focus on advanced therapies, which are the cell and gene therapies. Uh, you know, in essence, you know, what we've built um, is, you know, a market leading position for secure uh, distribution and management of critical materials, which include biopharmaceuticals, uh, cell and gene therapy, as well as animal health and reproductive medicine uh, uh, materials as well. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Mr. Heinzen? Thank you. Uh, Thomas Heinzen, uh, Vice President, Corporate Development and Investor Relations uh, here at Cryoport Inc., our headquarters in Nashville, Tennessee. We do operate as an operating holding company. So there's Cryoport Inc., and then we have four companies underneath where all the action takes place. Mm -hmm. Cryoport Systems, which Dr. Sawicki heads the CEO, Cryogene, our first acquisition of biostorage company in Houston, Texas. Cryopdp, uh, courier, specialty courier, headquartered in Paris, France. And then MVE Biological Solutions, the largest manufacturer of cryogenic equipment for the life sciences, headquartered in Ball Ground, Georgia. Incredible. Uh, let's stay with you, Mr. Heinzen. Uh, recently, you reported fourth quarter and full year 2022 results, which included highlights such as reaching $237 million in total revenue with commercial revenue up by 27%, as well as the news that Cryoport is supporting a record 654 global clinical trials and 10 commercial therapies. So can you give us an update regarding that information and any executive commentary regarding the news? Uh, thank you. Yeah. And we've come a long way in, in really a short period of time. Let's give you a little context. I came here about eight years ago as well. Uh, I think I was the 34th employee. We had one location in California. We were supporting about 49 clinical trials at that time. And we ended that year with 3.9 million in revenue. Uh, and you know, fast forward to today, and we've got over 1,000 employees. We're spread out around 15 countries with 30, 38 locations. And you said our revenue is well over 200 million now. We forecasted for this year, 2023, 270 to 290 million in revenue. So we're going to keep on growing. Um, we're really focused on, this, as Mark said, the cell and gene therapy industry. We do have two other markets, animal health and human reproductive. But most people, most investors out there think of us as the leading company moving around cell and gene therapies every day. But what we've really done is create a platform and uh, Dr. Swicky has the, the highest growing, fastest growing segment of it, but it's really important to, to understand that we have this platform, really. We want to support everything before manufacturing of these therapies and then what happens to get them back to the patient. Mm -hmm. And it's a really unique skill set. Uh, we're the only company really doing, we don't have a head-to-head -head competitor, which is a little strange to say. We have fragmented competition throughout the world for sure, but we've really differentiated ourselves and that's why we have this market leading position. And we really think this industry and a lot of market experts think this industry is going to grow 20 to 30 percent for the next several, several years. Um, so it's a it's a great place to be in the pole position of that. But we have to work hard, of course, to maintain that leadership. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dr. Sawicki, the company also announced a new strategic partnership with Cineos Health the only fully integrated biopharmaceutical solutions organization purpose-built to accelerate customer success, which is another major move for your organization. Can you tell us a bit more about that and your plans to advance cell and gene therapies together? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Um, as, as you had mentioned, and I'll just build on what Tom was just talking about, you know, we've really focused on the, re, on the uh, advanced therapy or regenerative medicine space. And uh, you know, building a significant portfolio, which is the majority of programs, both clinically and commercially, um, you know, 
uh, you know, from, from a support standpoint, um, we have a very unique position in the market. Uh, and, and Cryoport as a whole has a focus on regenerative medicine. And we're not supporting other, other industries outside of, uh, you know, human health, which we call, which, which includes the three verticals that Tom had discussed. Um, but Cineos was an early adopter in the cell and gene space as well. And so what we're building together is a fully integrated platform, which incorporates all of our supply chain activities, uh, which is now extending further upstream into the actual apheresis collection, which is the blood collection process, as well as the cryoprocessing of that blood. Um, and Cineos, which is a CRO, is really focused around all the clinical management, which is all the patient management, site enrollment, um, site management, uh, um, you know, on behalf of biopharmaceutical entities. So, you know, building an integrated platform with them where they manage the scheduling and the patient related considerations. And we manage from collection to basically injection other than manufacturing really is, is a unique integrated competency that um, our clients and our partners uh, have been asking for. So, so, so it really does provide a contiguous standardized platform to be able to support all supply chain activities other than manufacturing in the, ma in the creation and distribution of cell and gene. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you this, what do you feel is the current biggest problem and market opportunity in cell and gene therapies that Cryoport is working to address across the research, clinical and commercial spectrum? Sure, there's two areas that are, that are the challenges in the market today. One is fragmentation of, of the supply chain. Um, you know, cell and gene is really early in its development. If you if you you know equate it to a baseball analogy, we're really at the bottom of the first inning. Um, you know there hasn't been 30 years of development on the supply chain to optimize those processes. So supply chain optimization is a critical consideration that that needs to occur in something that we are heavily focused on uh, in support of cell and gene. So so that's one critical consideration. Uh, as you're thinking about the industry and, and the need base of the industry is, is that standardization or you know, consolidation consideration. The other piece is standardization. So standardization of the processes associated with that supply chain. Um, you know, there's a lot of variety based on the fragmented nature of the supply chain today. Um, and that's something that we're working towards standardizing those processes, providing best in class solutions around that standardization and providing the ability to rapidly scale. Um, you know, today there's only, you know, um, you know, we're supporting 10 commercial therapies. There's only a handful more than that, but they're anticipating, you know, upwards of 20 new commercial approvals a year uh, for the foreseeable future. So the ability to scale and support the market as it grows significantly is something that, that we've been hyper-focused on. Mm -hmm. Mr. Heinzen, would you like to weigh in on that? Uh, yeah, I, we're expecting a big 2023. Uh, as part of our annual report, we did give guidance for the year. Also, we're, we're expecting 11 new therapies to commercialize that we support this year and another 22 filings. Uh, so the filings are an indicator of what's going to come after that, of course. It, once a company files, it takes at least six months before you're going to get in front of the FDA or the EMA to get an approval. So it's, it's an indicator of what's to come on the future approvals. It's sort of like a, we're gathering momentum in the space now. It's picking up steam, which is great to see. It, it is really hard out there, though, as Mark said, for these points of care today, because without standardization, you have all sorts of trials if you're at a hospital, and you have to remember all the protocols for that and the commercial therapies. And if they're doing it with different kitting and different packaging and different ways you're supposed to do it, it's a real burden on that point of care. So if we can help the industry standardize on some certain things and a certain way to do it, that makes everybody's life a lot easier and it makes treatment for the patient just that much better, that experience. Mm -hmm. And you did already uh, start answering this question, but you know, in terms of Cryoport's global platform providing mission critical solutions, services, and products to the biopharma, pharma, animal health, and reproductive medicine markets worldwide, is there anything new or exciting that investors can look forward to say in the next six to 12 months? Yeah, so uh, there's a lot to look forward to. You know, we've been very, very active in the space. Uh, over the last 12 months, we've made a number of, um, you know, tactical uh, acquisitions to either expand our geographical reach 
or, or, or a service basis, um, you know, throughout Europe and Asia, for example. We opened two new what we call global supply chain centers in, in the United States in Texas and New Jersey. Um, this year, we're continuing to build on that. Um, you know, we're rolling out this IntegraCell platform in conjunction with Cineos. Um, you know, we're continuing to, to um, diversify the service offerings that we have in this space, um, you know, which will expand out into, you know, kitting and kitting service support areas for, you know, that standardized packaging that Tom had mentioned. We have new products that are coming to market from a distribution basis, which include uh, what we call our Elite Ultra Cold line, which is the first custom built uh, gene therapy distribution uh, uh, device, uh, which provides best in class uh, uh, you know, support for the gene therapy space, as well as what we call our Cryosphere, uh, which is a gravitationally stabilized shipper, which provides best in class distribution competencies as well for cell therapy. So, a lot of new exciting things that are coming to market this year. Tom, you want to add to that? Oh, happy to. You took all my thunder, though, that I would have <laughs> about uh, I, I think it, the real cool thing to me, it, the IntegraCell platform is a great business opportunity moving upstream into right where the cells are pulled for the patient at the, at the point of apheresis, it's called, and then doing the processing and cryopreservation. It's something we don't do today, but our clients really need us to step in to do that, which will help the industry scale really. And uh -huh. it's, it's about getting the patient in that pull out of a hospital and because everything that happens at a hospital. What I really think is cool is our cryosphere. So today our shipper is, you can think of it like a very scientific thermos and it works great when it's upright. When it's on its side, the holding time starts to shrink. So if you get on a really long flight from LA to Europe somewhere, London, and it's put on its side on the plane, the holding time keeps shrinking. So when it gets to London, will it make it to its end destination in time? And we'd love it if all of our freight partners kept it upright all the time, but unfortunately they play Jenga or Tetris with it. Now we're measuring the orientation so we can figure it out in our system, our cryo portal has algorithms figuring out will it make it or not. So we're trying to do predictive analysis on every shipment as they're ongoing and nobody else does that by the way. This new package we have though is a cube on the outside or a box and on the inside is a sphere and it's weighted at the bottom and it moves in an almost frictionless environment. So no matter how our partners pack that cube, the inside is going to rotate to always be upright. So it's a really, really revolutionary thing. We have done other things to make it really easy for the user too. It's got wheels in the back corner and a handle that pops out like you roll on luggage. So it makes it really easy to move around. So we've done all sorts of little things too, ergonomic wise, and there's nothing like it on the market. So it's a, it's a real, I'll call it revolutionary product, not evolutionary product. And we're excited to roll that out here too. Yeah, that's that sounds really exciting. Very interesting. Um, well, let's let's try to get some more of that thunder back for you, Mr. Heinzen. What's next in the pipeline for the next three or five years for Cryoport as you enter 2023 with $523 million in cash and short-term investments and in revenue guidance of $270 to $290 million, up 18% year over year at the midpoint. Yeah. Uh, well, we're focused, of course, on the short term because we have all these therapies that are going to be, we think, commercializing this year that we support. So we've got to handle all that. So that means keeping ahead of that, making sure we have enough inventory and everything else going to handle that volume as it goes this year and the years after. Mark talked about building our global network out. We have to be closer to our customer all the time. When that therapy is manufactured, we want to pick it up the same day or the next day because often there's a patient dying waiting for it. So all that has happening. That's what we do. We also have this cash balance and we are looking at inorganic opportunities, acquisitions or merger opportunities, but we're very particular and very disciplined about that. We're not gonna try to buy something out of bankruptcy or fix somebody else's problem. We're running as fast as we can right now to keep up what we have. To do that would really take our eye off the balls and that's a recipe for disaster. So we obviously have our financial metrics and valuation that, you know, that's a given that you have to have. And then there's strategic, tactical, and cultural considerations. We're very big on the culture. If the culture doesn't fit, we really don't care what the math is. If the culture isn't there, we're not going to do it either. So we're very disciplined to make sure that we can further our company, increase our breadth of services. And that's where we're focused there. We're just really excited because as Mark said, this industry is just beginning. 
10 commercial therapies, 654 clinical trials, 79 in phase three, 300 in phase two. There's a lot coming in this industry. Now, not all those trials are going to make it for sure, but a good percentage of them will. And it's going to help a lot of people. It's really the next pillar in medicine that we're really excited about. Terrific. And Dr. Sawicki, do you have any final thoughts? I think Tom closed perfectly. So Terrific. I, <laughs> I couldn't I have done it better so myself. Well. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, gentlemen, this has been extremely inform information informative, I should say, today. Um, and if you could just please let our audience know the best place where they can find more information. Uh, cryoport.com, C-R-Y-O-P-O-R-T.com would do it. Terrific. Well, thank you thank so you, much for your time. And we look forward to monitoring your company's progress and success and speaking to you again in the near future. Terrific. Thank, thank you, Layla. Thank you.